To play Imagine by John Lennon, we are going to use chords C, an inverted G chord, and an inverted F chord. The notes for the C chord are C, E, and G, and the notes for the inverted G chord are D, G, and B. The notes for the inverted F are C, F, A. And the movement looks like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three. On that fourth beat, we get that famous little half step riff that goes. Okay, we don't really play that last C, but it's. We go into the C chord after that. So all together it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and a one. Okay? In the left hand, we're going to have our hand in C position. So our first finger is on G. And we're going to use that for the bass note with the C chord as well as the G chord. And then when I switch to the F, I will also switch to the F in my left hand. basically the first verse. If you're using the pedal, I recommend you let the pedal go for this part. If you don't, it's going to sound a little watery. Not such a good sound, so just keep that in mind. Now the next part, uh, I guess you would call it the pre-chorus, is we stay, we just finished um, No help Sky. So we stay on F, and then we switch to an A minor chord after that, which I'm going to do an inverted A minor. You don't have to do inverted chords, it just, it's easier once you get used to it, and in a lot of cases it actually sounds better. It sounds nicer to have all the sounds coming from the same area of the keyboard, as opposed to... Nothing wrong with that sound, especially if you're singing, but if you'd like to take it up to the next level, I recommend getting used to inversions. So we've got our inverted F, and then we're, all we have to do to get to the A minor is replace the F with an E. So the A minor chord in this, in this inversion is C, E, and A. So again, that measure is switch to a D minor for two beats, and then I'm back to that F again. Then I'm going to step this whole position from F steps up to the inverted G chord. So that's really easy, isn't it? For three beats, and then I'm going to do an inverted C. I know I'm going inversion crazy in this video, but trust me, once you get used to it, you're going to love doing inversions. So I'm going to just shift my thumb up to the E, and I'm going to replace this finger with my second finger. It's the same note, G, and I'm going to shift my fifth finger up to the C. That's my inverted C chord. So that whole movement looked like this. I've got... Here's my F. I just step it up, two, three, inverted C, and I'm going to land finally on a regular G chord. Ah, and then you start the whole thing over. Okay, so that's the verse and the pre-chorus. 
Oh, I forgot to add the left hand, sorry. <laughs> so for that pre-chorus, it's just like everything else at the, at, before it. We've got our F, A, D, F, G, C, I'm gonna stay on the G for my C chord. So I'll call that a C over G chord. And then G lands together. So I'll do that again without talking so that I can do it correctly. Okay, the chorus is next on our agenda. So at the end of the verse before the chorus, we're singing. Do a regular C for this one. Now here's the next chord. It's different. We got a sharp in this one. It's an E major. Okay, it sounds funny when I slow it down like that, but when you hear it all in context, it's gonna make sense. So our E major chord is E, G sharp, and B. Then after that, we go to F. Oh, so this is the. That was F, two, G, two, C, two, E again. And then F, F, G, one, C, and then E again. And the world will be as one. Okay, so all together that chorus sounds like this. Say I'm a dreamer, but I am not the only one. I hope someday you will join us, and the world will be as one. And the bass line at the bottom, um, at the end of that, is we come down. So here's our middle C. And then there's bass C. Just below that is G. We're going to go G, A, B. And I know it feels like we should do this note, but it's easier if we just go C chord. Because we have to start it all over again. It's just easier. Y your ear still hears it. You could do a quick switch like that, or we could just make it easy and go So that's Imagine, and it's usually the second song I teach all of my students. It's a little harder than Let It Be, but it still uses a lot of the same chords, and it's such a wonderful song. Everybody's always super excited to play it. So I hope that you enjoyed that, and I hope you found it useful. If you have any questions at all, please leave a comment, um, and I will, I will follow up, and I will answer you. If you're on YouTube, uh, watching this video, it might take me a day to answer. Um, I'm on my blog more often, so if you're watching this on YouTube or Tumblr or Facebook, please visit my blog, goplaypiano.com. I post tutorials and articles all the time focused on beginning and intermediate pianists, especially self-taught pianists. So if that's you, you should definitely subscribe and stay in touch with me. So go and learn this song. Remember, you can always pause it and work on it in sections. There is nothing wrong with doing that. And that's actually how I recommend you learn it anyway. So thanks for being with me. And in the meantime, go play piano. Bye.